Hi everyone and welcome back to GameMakerCast and in this video tutorial we're going to take a quick look how to set up a parallax system using GameMaker Studio 2. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. Now how I have my room set up, if I go in here, you can see that my instances one and two contain a single object, which we'll get to. However, my room properties is 1920 by 1024. If I open up my viewports and cameras, I have enabled viewports. I'm clearing that background and specifically viewport zero is the one I'm using. You can see that it's enabled by this white box and my camera properties are 1920 by 1024 to match my room. And then finally, the viewport properties are 1366 by 768 to be my window. Now you can see that we already have an object camera in here. So if we check this out, all we're doing in the crate event is we are getting an easy way to access our viewport, viewport zero in particular. And we are centering the camera when we first load it up. And then in the step event, all we're doing is moving the camera to the right and then setting the position to give it a scrolling effect. Now in our room, what we need to do is we need to add some backgrounds in here. So we're gonna use the create new background layer. I'm gonna create six of them in total. And then I'm gonna go through and rename these. And now that I've renamed my backgrounds, the one thing I wanna point out is if I have my backgrounds here underneath my sprites, I have six images in total, and that's why I have six of them. You may have something a little bit different, but we'll be using these six. And what I wanna go and do is I wanna go through each one and assign the sprite. So I'll start with number six, and then just keep working up the ladder until we have them all filled in. Once we have them all filled in, you'll see our scene has changed to something like this. And this is where the object parallax is gonna come into play. If I load this up right now, it doesn't have anything, but what we want to do is create a new step event. And in here, this is where we're going to make the code happen. So the first thing we need to do is grab the camera's X position, and we can do this by using the viewport zero, which is view camera zero. And then all we need to do is assign the layer a specific X position. For instance, if I take the first layer and I assign it to the camera's X position and multiply that by 0.5, so I'm actually times that by half. If I hit F5, our camera's gonna be moving and you'll see that parallax background number one is scrolling over. Now, the one thing that we do need to do is make sure we go in our room and for each of these backgrounds, we wanna make sure that they are tiled horizontally. So we'll do this on all six of them and then we'll run our game one more time and you should see that the backgrounds are starting to move at a different speed. So this one's moving slower than these ones. So all we really have to do is go back into the layer here and let's copy and paste this a few times. So we'll fix this up to say number two, three, four, and five. And all we need to do is change the percentages that we're gonna uh, move them by. So we'll say six, seven, eight, and we want the clouds to move in an opposite direction, which will be the camera position times anything over one. And now if I hit F5, you can see that we have a fully parallax background. Our clouds are moving to the right and our mountains and trees and everything are moving to the left like it should be. So hopefully you learned something in this quick lesson. You can download the source found on my Patreon and thanks for watching. Thank you all for watching the video and a shout out to the following Patreon supporters in no particular order. Robert, Corey, ETC, Annie, Ashby, Ian, Darthwolf, Victor, Edward, Yato, Alex, Timothy, and Paul. Once again, thank you all so much for the support. Please leave a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks again.